a mid century school bursting at the seams is facing a new fate. Another sign of the times with Highlands Elementary School, the latest in the battle to preserve Boise's past. Voters approved a capital project bond for the Boise School District in 2017. With those tax dollars, Highlands Elementary is a main priority, but it's whether they decide to rebuild or remodel that's drawing mixed opinions right now. Our Morgan Boydston is live for us at Highlands Elementary tonight with the latest. Morgan. The facade of this building behind me is almost iconic, serving kids in the Highlands for almost 60 years. Many are calling on the district to keep its bones, keep its character and remodel. While others are saying there's too many issues, they're better off tearing it down and starting from scratch. I'd like to keep the character of the building. I think a new building would be better. I would prefer a remodel. They're in love with the building that's not that neat. It's old, it's dated, it's non-functional. And I just think it, it fits in with the neighborhood. Either way. Whether you rebuild or remodel, it's going to be significantly better than what we have now. It's about creating the best educational environment for students and staff. And we understand that it's a community asset and we want to make sure that we protect that too. But either way, whether it's a renovation or a rebuild, uh, the main message here for us is that students are going to be better served. A Boise School District survey closed last week asking for input on whether people would like to see a teardown and total rebuild of this 57-year-old structure. It has seen better days from the standpoint of uh, you know, its use. Or a revamp and renovation. There's advantages and disadvantages for both. Boise School spokesman Dan Holler says they'll quality consider quality. all responses and also insane. take into account energy efficiency, budget limitations, safety and security, and preservation. After auditing elementary schools, Holler says Highlands was in one of the worst conditions in the district. You know, we're using every inch of space. 30 years ago, there were 215 students. Today, there are 315. We have four portables in use, and that's an indication that we don't have enough space inside the building. We're sort of bursting at the seams, so to speak. Because of a serious lack of storage space here at Highlands Elementary School, they've had to resort to putting things like art supplies in the hallways. Their lost and found is located in the hallway, too. And then I can show you what we call the cathogematorium. A preliminary analysis by the contracted construction company shows it'll take 12 months to build a new school and is within the school district's budget. A remodel and expansion will take a minimum of 14 months and would be a little more expensive. But proponents of mid-century preservation feel it's important Boise hangs on to this piece of our past. There's actually lineage here and there's stories to tell in history that, you know, part of our culture and our fabric. I think as we take those away, we start to lose that identity. If we do something different with the school, we lose part of that story and we lose part of the character of what makes these areas unique. The school district is evaluating results of that public survey now. They hope to make a decision by the end of the month. They're also anticipating breaking ground summer 2019 and opening the school a year later. In the meantime, during construction, kids will go to school at Fort Boise.